All right, so first thing we have to do is clear it out. That's what the, the bottom button for, that just clears all the registers and, and takes it all back to a null state. All right, let's go with eight and two. So we've got 10, 10 multiplied by eight should give us 80. Let's hit that multiply button. And then let's see what we end up with. So one's nothing, two's nothing, four's nothing, eight is nothing, 16, 32 is nothing, 16 and 64 is 80. 16 and 64 is 80. So once again, the multiplier is much faster than I am, but you can see how that's working. All right, everybody, I'm a rainbow. This is my multiplier, and I'm going to show you how it works right now. So this is the reset. It resets everything on the screens. You'll see them reset to nothing. It clears any memory in the multiplier. The button next to it, that's the actual multiply button. I, it's actually a shift register that I have to press at the last thing. There's a problem with uh, signal propagation, and I needed to send all of the uh, second numbers at the same time. That's how I do it. All right, first row here is my first set of binary numbers. It's one, two, four, and eight. So the maximum number I can do on that top row is 15. Those correspond to the top row over there on the machine. You can see they're right next to the colors, except I picked blue and it's the same thing I did for the background. So, ah, uh, what can I say? The bottom row, is red, orange, yellow, and brown. And you can see that reflected up over there too. So when I press these buttons, the screens will light up and you'll be able to see the two numbers that are being multiplied together in binary. And then if you look out there, the big row down at the bottom with the seven bits on it, that it, well, the eight bits on it, I should say, is the final sum and it goes from 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64 to 128. All right. And uh, I will walk you through all of this slower, but uh, you'll be able to see what's going on. So to start with, let's, let's take something easy. Let's go with 4 and 2. That's 6. And now let's go ahead and multiply 6 to 4 to make that whole thing work. We press the button and we watch it multiply. Six times four is 24, so we've got one's nothing, two's nothing, four's nothing, eight, and 16. Eight plus 16 is 24, so we got it right. All right, now, we're gonna get this aerial view of the whole thing in action. I'm gonna go ahead and clear it out, so clear everything out, so it's all nulled back out, and let's go ahead and multiply again. Let's go with two and four, which is six. So you can see six on the first display. Let's multiply six times eight. And then we, when we hit the register for multiply, it goes. Six times eight is 48. And we've got one, two, four, eight, all nothing, 16. 32, 16 plus 32 is 48. There we go. All right, let's do one more so you can see it walk through the circuit. And I'm gonna do one that uses up a whole bunch. We'll see if it comes out. One, two, four, eight. All right, so we've got 15 for that top number. I'm gonna multiply 15 by 10, which should give us 150 if it works out right. You see it all happens and it carries over, let's find out. So we've got two, four, so for six, nothing for eight, 16, so 22 and 128 gives us, how about 150? All right, it gets it right. All right, as you can see behind me, there, it's sort of color coded. So I actually have three rows of four bit adders uh, as part of my multiplication circuit. So you can see what happens there. And the first set feeds in that and then 
goes to the second, goes to the second, because essentially multiplication is just binary addition, all right? But you have to shift every time you add um, one row of digits, so it has to shift over so it will add it correctly. That's what we're doing right there. I think this is awesome stuff. All right, everybody, there you go. There's the multiplier. Um, I will have a link to the circuit, the logic diagram, so you can build your own if you want. If you see me in game and you want to get a copy, I will let you get a copy. I, I want to spread this out if anybody wants it. It, it. It'll save you a lot of time. Took me about two days, 20 plus hours working on this to get it um, where it was working. The interesting thing was the first time I tried it, it actually worked. Now I had, I had some errors because of propagation delay and I had to make a few changes, but it worked right off the bat and I was super proud of myself. As you can see, I am super proud of this and you're wondering, hey, what can I actually do with it? That's up to you, but being able to do multiplication and you can do less, you can do yet less bits in there, but to have bigger numbers to work with and give you different results and use them for all kinds of stuff. Anyway, if you have questions, please hit me up in the comments, hit me up on Discord. I'm happy to help. Um, I'm in the fan server all the time. So if you're in there, uh, you hit me up, you always get my attention. Anyway, y'all be good. Take care now. Bye-bye. God, I love this stuff. Awesome. Awesome. What do you guys think up there? Yep, you good? All right. All right, everybody, we've got our two sets of numbers. The top is uh, first four bit, and that we, we can call that A, but we're gonna say one, two, four, and eight. 15 is the maximum that we can put, punch in in binary with that. Same thing with the bottom. 15 is the maximum we can punch in there. So, all right, now we're gonna go for the gusto. We're gonna see if we can get them all this time. I'm going 15 by 15, which is 225 if I'm correct and let's go ahead and punch that in now part of the problem we have was when we got a lot of numbers going there's some propagation delay and sometimes they don't quite register let's see what happens it did not come out correctly this time I don't think so let's see 64 and oh maybe it did 64 and 32 is 90 6, 96 plus 128 is 2, plus 1 is 225 altogether. All right, I think that's got it. As we're looking at the yellow, which is the first set of adders, if you look all the way to the left there, you're going to see that that first AND gate just has two inputs, which is input, it's the zero input from the first input from A and B go into there, and if they're both high, then that propagates all the way down to the board there, and uh, it gets toggled and, and, and input, all right, same thing. And then the next set goes through the adder, logic runs on that, and if it's positive, it gets put out. Same thing on the second adder. You can see that one's actually lit up right now because that was high for the, for this and that is actually one two three three third one over so after all that logic is run you can see the lines that are active okay all right everybody